Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while since my last recorded video and it actually was before the dawning. But you wouldn't know that because that video actually wasn't published on YouTube and it was due to all of the layoffs that had come to the Bungie team. And I kind of felt a certain type of way, you know. Um, it was wrong what Bungie was doing, but in the end, there's really not much you can do. Many people lost their jobs, their livelihood, their careers, and so much more. I know a lot about loss now, uh, way more than ever, and I truly do feel for all of those in the team members who had lost their jobs. I do hope that and pray that each and every one of those um, people do recover and bounce back from it. For the past couple of weeks, I have been watching a lot of other content creators such as Astacross, Fallout, Datto, Grenader Jake, Bife, you know, just to name a few. And I can't help but to agree with a lot of the things that they are saying about what is going on with Bungie, Destiny 2, as well as the community at the moment. I won't be going into every single detail because they have already went through everything, explaining their feelings in their own videos, but I will go over a little bit of mine. I do want to apologize if I am all over the place. It definitely will be my combined ADHD and everything. It's just how my mind works. However, before we actually get into the video, this video is brought to you by Hyper Controllers. They are the first company to ever put Hall Effect thumbsticks inside a PS5 controller, which means no stick drift. You can customize your own controller or shop for a pre-made one. They have customization options for PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC, such as custom shells, extra rear paddles or buttons with a remappable chip, Hall Effect sensors, mouse click bumpers and triggers, and many more. Hyper Controllers offers a one year warranty on all of their controllers, which beats out the competition. You can check them out by going to hypercontrollers.com and you can use promo code RXRP to save 5% on your order. Now, as many of you know, I am a D1 beta player and let me tell you, seeing Destiny prior to its release, I couldn't have been more excited. I played D1 and all of its content, and need I say, each and every day was an addiction. I made tons of friends, many of that I still play with in Destiny 2 today and are still part of my clan. But there are also a lot of people that I used to play with that no longer play Destiny or Destiny 2 and refuse to come back, but we'll get into that part a little bit later. While Season of the Deep was a good way to tell us the origin story of The Witness, there is still so much that hasn't been explained at all, or let alone even well since then. Like, why did the Cabal capture the people on Earth? Why was the pyramid ships empty? I, and to this day, I still don't even understand what the fuck the veil is. I mean, I still don't understand and... <laughs> We are about to go into another huge expansion, which is the final shape, come June 2024. I get it that Bungie has timelines that they actually have to meet that not everything can be broken down and explained like they did in elementary school, but when it comes to important things like the veil, Bungie should have taken a little bit more time explaining it because it was definitely made to be like an important factor in Lightfall. I also understand that the Bungie devs have their hands tied a lot by their board of directors. Those very same people who either don't play video games and see all the issues with it, or those on the board who are just money hungry and just want content to be spit out without proper testing of it first. I love Destiny 2. It is a very addicting game. Many of you who still play it know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, I must have bought like eight or nine other games since the release of Destiny 2 and I never played them. And you can ask a lot of my clan members if it's true. There has never been a game in my life that has consumed so much of my time than Destiny. I mean, I love this game so much that I have purchased every single collector's edition that was released since D1 up until now. This game has a special place in my heart as I'm sure it does with a lot of people in the community. But let's talk about what happened after the layoffs up until the next few months prior to the final shape. We had the Festival of Lost in October, which I personally feel was a success. Truthfully, 
I do wish that we do go back to the Infinite Forest because it was a change of scenery every single time we went into it. No path was ever the same in any single run that you did. And I think there was like four or five paths that rotated. Um, but it was always fun because we was always running away from, you know, that huge hive um, that chases you in the infinite forest. But if Bungie actually added that same giant hive that chases you in the infinite forest to lost sectors, it would still be just as fun. Like as soon as you start, bam, automatically running from him. That would be amazing. Like it really would. Then after Festival of Lost, we had The Dawning, which didn't really seem much different from the previous one. And both events did give us new mementos, gear, etc. After The Dawning, we had the Wishkeeper exotic mission, and it is a very nice and useful bow. However, it won't be replacing Wish Ender in GMs anytime soon, but it is still nice. Then we have The Queen's Wishes. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping for a little bit more of a challenge a little bit more story plot, or maybe what everyone else was thinking when Bungie announced the Queen's Wishes, like a daily wish instead of like a single weekly one. Possibly even three a week would have been nice, but yeah, that didn't happen. The next event that is actually going to be launching today is Guardian Games, and Bungie is introducing more new stuff, including huge updates to the game whether it be PvE, PvP, on your class, subclasses, weapons, um, tons of stuff is coming to the game and as well as new updated roles for a lot of the prophecy weapons, which I am actually excited for. I am definitely looking forward to actually riding skimmers, which is the new surfboard vehicles we are able to ride just like a Cloud Strider. And yes, it is an actual vehicle and not an emote. I'm pretty sure we all bought that skateboard emote thinking that it was gonna move, you know, and it didn't. That kind of, uh, you know, made a lot of us sad, mostly me. We have that, but then we also have all of the new gear and items coming to the Guardian Games as well. Now, I know As the Cross wants you all to be a Titan, and I am here to tell you, don't listen to the man. <laughs> Hunter, Master Race Supreme is the way to go, especially with all of the strand hunters out there. Now, yes, we will be getting a nerf to Threadlings as well as Threaded Spectre, but don't let that small nerf push you down, hunters. Use all of those Threadlings and Threaded Spectres if like nothing was changed, my friends, and you will still dominate the PvP scene. <laughs> Warlocks, you guys are okay too, I guess. <laughs> I'm just playing, but after Guardian Games, we have the Destiny 2 Into the Light, which is supposed to drop sometime in April. Into the Light is supposed to help new and older players prepare for the final shape. At the moment, we know nothing about Into the Light, and I'm not gonna lie that that's kind of frustrating, especially since the final shape was pushed back from February to June. And all we know is that it's new content with new rewards, and hopefully we get a Vidoc on what Into the Light actually is soon. After Destiny 2 Into the Light, then comes the final shape. And everything currently at the helm in the back three areas where you actually spawn in is going away. So no more deep dives, no more Eris area, and no more Riven. With the final shape comes new content and the old content needs to get put somewhere else. Hopefully, they actually have like a updated UI, so you can still do deep dives if you want, as well as go into the areas for Riven, but we'll see what happens with that. However, this will cause a lot of issues for new people coming into the game or people coming back to the game because they will not even know what the hell is going on. Hopefully Bungie does some type of recap, whether it be a cinematic or something <laughs> for those people prior to the final shape. We will be getting three new supers, two subclasses we already have. Unfortunately, it's not a new subclass, which once again, kind of puts a damper on, you know, being excited for the final shape. Given all of the layoffs late last year and 
then the pushing of the release of the final shape until June 2024, we have a lot to be expected of the final shape. I mean, this expansion needs to give us that above and beyond wow factor better than any story that um, Bungie has actually put out to date. Like, it has to be like the best it could ever be. This story needs to be on point. It cannot, and I repeat, it cannot leave us asking questions or without answers and have us scratching our heads. Otherwise, Bungie is going to have a hard time retaining that player base. And at this point, the number of players that are actually playing D2 are at a all time low. And there are many, 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 many reasons for this. Now, I understand that the Destiny 2 live service model isn't for everyone, but let's face it. A lot of games that have come out or that are coming out have this type of model one way or another. So it's not going away anytime soon. It's games as a service and this type of model won't be going away anytime soon as long as people spend money on random things like cosmetics or expansions or the coming episodes to Destiny. As I said, there are many reasons why people have stopped playing D2. Some reasons could be the lack of consistent and complete storyline in each expansion, the repetitiveness of having to do the same missions or strikes or repeated missions and strikes all over just to make progress. Then we have the constant nerfs to weapons when people cry in PVP. Yes, it happens a lot. Rip target lock on SMGs come today's update. I mean, the lack of dedicated servers when Bungie has been given millions of dollars over the past 10 years, that's a, a huge reason why a lot of people stop playing. Having to pay actual money for the upgraded event cards instead of Bright Dust, believe it or not, that kind of pissed off a lot of people. Reprised raids, you know, the same things we did in Destiny 1, once again in Destiny 2. Mind you, I actually like the reprised raids, especially with the updated weapons. But then we also have things like simple fixes to the game that get ignored for other things that we didn't even know or care about. I could keep going on and on all day, but at the end of the day, something needs to change Bungie. And I don't mean uh, Sony takeover either. <laughs> that kind of would be bad. At this point, Destiny 2 isn't doing too well from the lack of the player base to the lack of the final shape pre-orders to the decision to go from expansions to episodes. Speaking of episodes, at this point, we still really don't know much of what they are in Destiny 2 when they come out with the final shape and how they'll actually function. Still more information that is undisclosed to the public and the Destiny community at this time. If you don't know yet, Cade 6 is coming back, but we have no idea if it's actually for good or if it's just for the final shape. By the way, rest in peace, Lance Rhetoric, AKA the original voice of Zavala since Destiny 1. For those who don't know, March 2024 will be one year since his passing. And my heart goes out to his family. As of March 2024, Destiny 2 now has a new game director, Tyson Green. And this makes the count up to five different game directors in seven years since the release of Destiny 2 back in 2017. Those game directors were Christopher Barrett, Luke Smith, Ryan Ellis, Joe Blackburn, who just recently stepped down, and now the newly appointed Tyson Green. While I'm pretty sure the money is great, the pressure and responsibility that is put on these game directors is intense. And now it's even worse because Sony's breathing down Bungie's neck. I can't believe, yet alone fathom, the stress they have to go through on a daily basis, and then, on top of that, put that stress that they are forced onto the game devs. Unfortunately, shit rolls downhill, and it just gets worse with each rotation until something like layoffs happen. So, 2024 hasn't really started off too well for Bungie, and the final shape will either make or break Bungie but unfortunately, I do feel like we will see, no, no, not jinxing it, but 
we will see another set of layoffs for Bungie if the Final Shape pre-orders don't start looking any better. And if that happens, then we will probably be getting closer and closer to a Sony takeover, given that Sony now owns Bungie. In the event that Destiny 2 doesn't see the money Bungie is expecting to see for the Final Shape, I guess we could look forward to playing Anthem again. I mean, you guys remember Anthem, right? Who's with me? Nobody? Yeah, I didn't expect, I, I, yeah, no, me neither. <laughs> also, to stop all the rumors, no, Bungie is not buying the Anthem IP, and no, there is no Anthem Reloaded in the works. Sorry to crush your dreams, Spikes. I know you were looking forward to that. But I do wonder what Anthem does look like right now. I still have the game in my game collection, pretty much collecting dust, as it should, you know? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll give it another go and we'll see how things changed. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about the current path Bungie and Destiny 2 is going and if there's anything that you personally would change for the better. And that my friends brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.